Charles Darwin's book, The Origin of Species, fundamentally changed the way we think about life. But it was another of his books, The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex, that changed how we think about weird behaviors and features of animals. What's absolutely amazing about this book is that Darwin realized for the first time that things like horns on beetles and horns on lizards and headdresses of birds and elaborate tails evolved not to make them survive better. In fact, they survive worse, but they evolved because they gave them a real advantage in attracting mates. My favorite example comes from wood frogs. Actually, from the absurdly muscular thumbs that only male wood frogs have. Wood frogs are unusual because they emerge from hibernation just as soon as the ice melts from ponds. On early April nights, after the first warm rain, listen for their duck-like quacks from vernal pools. The entire year's reproduction for wood frogs takes place over just a few days. Males far outnumber females, so there is fierce competition for mates. If a male is lucky enough to find a female, he'll grab her around the waist and hold on tight until she lays her eggs, which he'll then fertilize. I can pick this pair up by him, by his hind leg, and he won't let go. Males who can't find their own mate will ram into pairs to try to dislodge the frog on top. Just like a peacock's tail, a wood frog's muscular thumb evolved because of competition for mates. Who knew that the human thumb would come to play such an important role in our own social behavior? <laughs>